I will not lie. I think we woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. <laughs> We're gonna go pick up some flooring and the vanity and some other, oh, probably some groceries while we're at it too. Did not sleep well at all. And I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. What a great combo. <laughs> we're gonna have our reliable Jimmy Dean bowls. Sorry if it's a little loud in here, we got the dishwasher going but I decided to make some cookies. Trevor went out with one of his friends to go check the cattle and they have twins so I told him I was like oh my gosh afterwards I was like come on tell him to come over to have like some chocolate milk and not chocolate milk like chocolate chip cookies and some milk. So I decided to make some right now. Hopefully they turn out good. <laughs> You ready? Where's he gonna go? So we just got back from probably the longest day of my life and grocery shopping. It's probably one of the biggest grocery hauls I've done in a hot minute, um, but it's gonna be another two weeks until we go back. just got done cleaning around the house. My mom is coming over. Um, she's gonna come and drop off my little brother. So uh, I decided to give the house a good cleaning. Basically now we're just gonna have breakfast. 
The only things that I have left is since my mom doesn't come often, I'm just going to make like a few little desserts. She's like a avid coffee drinker. So that's like her favorite thing to do. So I figured I should make some little desserts and cookies to kind of go with the coffee. I picked up the nursery from the, what you guys saw last to now, completely different, but it was much needed. And then clean up the kitchen, that family room, the living room's next, but I was getting hungry. So I'm like, might as well eat something. I also need to get ready. I haven't, I literally put on some sweats and a shirt and I was like, I just need to get clean and somehow um, before they get here. So at least it's not a mess. If there is something in my life that I ever thought that I was missing out on, it's arugula. Please tell me why I never thought arugula would taste this good. Okay, we got ready, our hair is done, our cinnamon rolls are rising over there. But I got a package that I'm so excited about. Well, we went over to Trevor's dad and his girlfriend made us some amazing, like not cinnamon rolls, waffles. <laughs> and I was just so obsessed with it that I ordered myself a waffle maker <laughs> off of Amazon. It was like nothing expensive. <laughs> they said their waffle maker was $150 and I'm like, we're not that serious about waffles yet. I don't even know how to make them. But since we got our waffle maker right now, let's try a recipe. There it is. This was literally like $13 off of Amazon. So if you wanna get waffles <laughs> I'll, or make waffles, I'll link it down below. I didn't think 13 bucks, but let me try it first and then I'll tell you. If, if if it's really good, it'll be linked down below. If it's not, it won't be linked down below. Just know it was not worth it. It's a tiny little thing, but I feel like this is a good portion control for me. <laughs> let's go wash it and let's go make ourselves a waffle. The recipe that we'll be using is from Pumpkin Spice and it's called Fluffy Belgium Waffles. We'll see if it's good. I'm only gonna have the recipe well, I'm going to half the recipe because, I mean, it's literally like two o'clock. I don't think I should be eating waffles this late. Here goes the trial. Maybe two would be good enough. That waffle maker, 10 out of 10, really recommend. That thing works phenomenally. Um, and honestly, I think these portions of waffles are perfect. Like they're not too big. They're not too small. It looks pretty small when you take it out of the package, but perfect. If you want to make the recipe, I will link it down below because I think it is really good, but I would add a little bit more liquid and more butter. It's going to seem like a lot of butter, but it's, it's really good. This isn't a healthy, like breakfast snack or anything. <laughs> frost it's 60 degrees today it's gonna be like 60 something or 68 tomorrow so I feel like these two days are the best days to get them transferred into their little containers here I feel like on Thursday I think it's gonna be like around 30 degrees so we're gonna keep them indoors until the last frost they need room to grow so but I bought these little pots at Dollar General they were six bucks so I'm just using this seed starting mix. We've had it since last year, I believe, and I think it should be fine. So I'm really hoping because these babies are really blooming. So I hope they like this type of soil. I didn't even gobbles to save you. I'm not even gobbles. 